Uh, yes, Patrick. Uh, last year, NYCFC led the league in goals scored after the 75th minute. Today's equalizer came in the 76th minute. How do you go about changing the mentality of the team to, to close out games? I don't, <clears throat> I don't think it's the uh, mentality problem. I think it's just about how can we deal in a situation where we are under pressure. And uh, that is what we uh, we need to um, to get focus on. And I don't think it's a mental problem. I think it's just about um, the team um, above us and um, and try to put us under pressure. I think we just have sometimes to accept that the team are playing better in a certain period of the game. And that period of the game, we have to be a little bit more stronger as a team and defend better. And I think when you look at the games today, we uh, we concede the goals at the wrong time, especially the first one. And um, and I think the goals we concede before half time give them the momentum and give them a little bit more belief. And um, I think if we going back to the dressing room at two nil, it will be completely a, a different game. Okay, we'll get on the front here. Uh, Patrick, that was one of the things I was going to ask you of the. Of the two, I, I'd imagine conceding just before the half. I mean, on the very last play was very difficult, and and also I think you just alluded to it as well. But does it feel like it was a point that that you lost here tonight? When you're winning two nil and you draw two two, um, there's a lot of frustration from our part on our side, because when you lead uh, two nil, um, we had to um, to control the game a little bit more better. But um, but I think you have to give a credit uh, to Toronto with the way they played, and uh, and I think as a team we will get better. Uh, that's what I was said after our first game against Chicago. That this team, with the way they work, we will get better and better and stronger and stronger. And uh, and I believe as a team we were better today than we were against um, against Chicago. And we will be even better against Orlando because uh, because I'm really pleased with the commitment and the hard work from the players. Coach over here. So you just mentioned uh, Chicago. Last week was a little bit of an unknown because Chicago had so many new players. But Toronto's attack was a little more something you could research. How did, can you talk about how that affected your preparation for this week? Not at all. We um, we knew how good they were up front. Um, they are really mobile, um, really good uh, in the counter attack, and um, they was quite really direct. And I think uh, when you analyze the game, I'm quite really pleased with the way that um, we stopped them and try to find Jovinko behind our uh, our back four, back three. Uh, but in the other side, uh, Jovinko's goal. <laughs> that is the talent. And sometimes you have to accept uh, the talent from the other team, um, but overall, I think um, I think we uh, we deal quite well um, with their strength. And of course, there is a lot of frustration, but everything wasn't perfect against uh, Chicago. Everything is not perfect um, tonight. It will not going to be perfect against Orlando, but we will get better as a team. Uh, Patrick, over here. Yes. 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 Thank you. Um, you talked about how you guys played better, and tonight you started Federico Bravo alongside Pirlo. So do you think from open play, defensively, there was improvement compared to this game uh, from Chicago, and how do you look to continue that uh, defensive progression from the midfield uh, and from the whole team in general? Our objective of, the, of this game was to, uh, to control the game. And uh, and that is the reason why we played Federico uh, next to uh, to uh, to Andrea, and uh, that gave us as well a little bit more uh, solidity. <laughs> and um, and I think Federico uh, tonight was uh, was fantastic. And um, and we will see against Orlando. We may gonna go back to the four three three. We gonna go maybe with the three at the back, or we may gonna be go with three at the back, three in the midfield, and four up front. Um, what is really good is that we have a system that we can play around and uh, and try to control games. Um, Patrick. Um, yeah, hi. Um, Kojepoku was an um, amazing player last season. Um, what's wrong with him now? Are you going to trade him or something? 
he was a, a really good player last year. He's still a really good player this year. And uh, my job is to uh, pick up the best team to uh, to try to win games. And uh, and I expect a lot from Poku. And uh, he has still have a massive part to play in our football club. And um, he will uh, he's a really important player. Coach, there was a lot of talk about the uh, formation heading into this match, 3-4-3, three, three, very narrow uh, type of formation that you had. Could you talk a little bit about that, your decision to employ that? And Mix, you looked very comfortable in the field today, uh, especially playing in the middle. Could you talk about how that formation is perhaps influencing the way that you're playing out of the field as well? You can start. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a central midfielder, and... Uh, the coach and I have talked about this, and, uh, and as long as I do my best and, and deserve to play, it's it's in the midfield uh, I'll be. So um, just gotta keep on doing doing what I can and uh, try to deserve that spot. But uh, I definitely feel more comfortable uh, in the middle. Now, not out in the wing, play the last five minutes, but I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, and, and uh, last year it was a four-three-three, and I was playing up top on the right side, and I'm not. You know, the Kari Shelton who can play pass guys by running faster dribbling. I'm more of a combination player and, and passing. So um, the style that, that our coach tries to um, uh, adapt in, in our system is exactly the style uh, I feel most comfortable in and the style I want to play. Um, <laughs> that is his best position. And, uh, and the way we want to play, he's fitting that position really well because he's really uh, he's really clever. He can score, go score goals, he can make an assist, and um, his game understanding is, uh, is really good. So um, I believe that is his best position. Uh, Patrick, this uh, preseason, obviously, you worked on this system, three in the back, three, four, three. I is it the personnel that you have? Is it the size of the field here? Is it a, var is a lot of variables? What was it about that system that made you confident coming into this year that you could you could use that I think it's just regarding the first game we played um, against Chicago and um, and the difficulties we uh, we had um, when they were going into a counter-attack uh, the direct game and we knew that uh, Toronto was quite really direct when they will get the ball the objective was to find Jovinko in the space straight away and it was quite really important for us to um, to block that space, and I believe that three at the back, we did it quite really well, and um, and I was really pleased because uh, because we didn't spend so much time on that system, but the way uh, the players played tonight and their understanding, it was uh, it was really good, and obviously we will use that system later on, no problem at all. Uh, yeah, Patrick. Um uh, Briant had a difficult game in the first game. How did you feel he bounced back, and what do you think of his performance tonight? I think he was uh, he was good. I think um, he was uh, more confident today. Uh, he showed a lot of character, and um, and he will get better and better. Uh, the first game wasn't easy for him because he's coming from a different country. He didn't really know the game, I will say, it, and he learned a lot from the first game we played. And uh, Fred is just like the other players and the team. And uh, he will get better and better, just like the team. And um, and I was really pleased with his performance today. Okay. Um, hey, Patrick. I was a bit surprised by the uh, substitution of Steven Mendoza in the second half, given the fact that he's been incorporated on the team for less than a week. What role do you think the Colombian will play in the coming months in the MLS? I think if we decide to bring him to our football club is that we believe and I personally believe that he can help the team and we will be better with him. And that gives me um, a different options because when you look at that, uh, the winger that we have in our football club, we just have two. And Mendoza is the third one and uh, Jack can be one of them as well. And uh, the season is really long. It will be a lot of games, and uh, Mendoza, like Carrie, Tony, Poku, will have a part to play in the success of this football club. Okay, just the last question there. Hi, Patrick. Um, before the season started... Uh, right here. Yes. Hi. Uh, before the season started, you said that it's important for this team to develop an identity. 
what specifically is that identity that you're looking for and how close after two games you think the team is to finding that? <laughs> like you said, it's just only two games, still a long way to go. And people build up identity in years. But what I believe that we're doing well is to play with personality. We have a way to play. We want to build up from the back. Yes, it's risky at time, but that is a way that I want the team to play. And I believe we have the players to play that way as well. And, uh, and you can see when you watch the first two games we play so far, we try to play between the line. There is um, a strong confidence from the players, each other, uh, give the ball to players even if he's under pressure. Uh, there's a lot of personality in the team, we score a lot of goals, we concede, yes, but the philosophy of mine and the football club is that we want to create more than we concede. And, um, and of course, there's a balance to find at the same time, but, um, but we will get better. I'm not worried at all about it, because like I said earlier on, the commitment and the hard work from the players to get the formation and the way they're working in training, we will, we will get better. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.